you're going to look back and say, why the hell did I worry about all that little shit when I could have been focused on what? Being a bigger, better version of you. With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. I want you to analyze and judge your own communication skills, how you share and how you listen. Um, and I want you guys to step it up. It is time for bigger problems. Look for bigger problems to solve and stop giving a damn about all the little stuff. Listen, think about this. I'll get to this point right away. At the end of our lives, if I'm 95 and we're here together and we're like in the last, we're in the final few minutes of the game, right? You're going to look back and say, why the hell did I worry about all that little shit when I could have been focused on what? Being a bigger, better version of you. I say this all the time, but I want to repeat it again. If you order medium rare steak and they bring it well done and you freak out, you need bigger problems. Someone cuts you off in traffic and you yell at them and flip them off, you need bigger problems. If a friend goes to the mall and you thought he should have asked you to go with him or her with him and they didn't and you're freaked out, I can't believe they would do that to me and you're feel, having a pity party, you need bigger problems. If a, like, just think of all the little things right now. Someone takes your parking spot. Someone disrespects you and you thought the waiter should, waitress should be nicer. The toll taker was rude when they handed you back the money. If that stuff is bothering you, you are screwed. Wow, that was pretty aggressive, wasn't it? But you are, because you don't have time in your life for the needle movers. You're too worried about the low level shit. Does that offend you? I'm sorry if it does. I'm here to help you, not to, not, to, not to coddle you, you know? I'm not super aggressive, but I tell it like it is. You need bigger problems. The same fears, the same stress, the same worry I had when I was making 50 grand a year feels the same right now. When my brand is done, my brands and my companies broke over a billion dollars in sales a couple years ago. I've been through all phases. The feeling on the inside doesn't feel any different. You know that. Think about in your life, in your past, the things that used to make you sick, but they're this big. Now you're like, oh my God, I was worried about that, but now I'm worried about this. Someday you'll look back at the problems you have now and be like, oh my God, that was nothing. So, 2019, get bigger problems. Start searching out. If you can solve bigger problems, you get bigger checks. If you can solve bigger problems, listen, let, let me just equate this to love. Let's just say, right? Relationships can be tricky. I was open enough and transparent through my whole divorce. I, I, I didn't make it through it. But I'm in a relationship now that's incredible. But it's work and I solve bigger problems. I put the work in. You want real love in your life, it's work. And it's not about proving your point or be, just becoming a better human being. It's about better, it's about compromise. It's about better listening. It's about better dedication. It's about better trust. It's about, it is work and it's solving big problems. I think in my old relationship, I was just like, it ain't working. You know, either step up or step out. I'm not, I'm over exaggerating, but it's work. And guess what? If you want to live the easy way, do the hard things. If you want to live the hard way, do the easy things. Listen, I got up this morning at 4.45 and went to the gym. My trainer kicked my ass. It was hard. But I'm 50 and I'm in pretty damn good shape and I'm going to live long and I don't have any complications. I'm not on any medications. I feel incredible. So it was hard to get up at 4.45, which I do six days a week. It is hard, but I'm living easier. I stand up straight. I feel incredible. I could beat my, I could beat most anybody in a running race. And like, I feel great. Hard to work out. Easy life. I do the hard things in a relationship. I have an easy relationship because of it. I do the hard things with my kids and, and set the lessons now, even if they get mad at me, but I'm going to have an easier adulthood with them. Want a better life? Do the hard things now so life can be easier. 
want a better life, get bigger problems in 2019. You guys ready for this? Who's willing to commit right here, right now in front of your Dean's Inner Circle family that you are ready to commit to bigger problems? If you're not live, that's okay. I'm glad you're here watching. Get here next month live when you get the notification. But right now, commit to bigger problems. You took the time to be here. You're not just someone who talks about it or complains about it or blames the president, your friends, your family. It's like you're here doing it. You don't think I have so much respect for you? It's unbelievable. So the next one, number three, just say no. In 2019, it is time to analyze all the things that you do and start saying no. Listen, you know how obsessed I am with a not to do list. You know that. And we've covered that. But for those of you who are new, those of you who aren't really doing it, if those of you who aren't doing it on a regular basis, even my DG family members have been with me for 10, 15, 20 years, some of you. Are you really doing this at the level you need to? Are you spending time on the needle movers? Or are you wasting time on things that don't matter? Listen, I said something on stage, I said it yesterday in my video and I, and I really like it, but if you're in a treadmill and you're dying to get someplace, it doesn't matter if your treadmill is on four or 14, you can run as fast as you want, you ain't getting anywhere. You're not on a track, you're not on a road, you're on a treadmill. Are you on a treadmill in your life in some areas? Are you going fast? Are you pushing hard? Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you feel stressed? Do you feel there's not enough time in a day? You're trying real hard. But when you look down, that might be the place you have to look. It's because you're running on a treadmill. You're going faster, quicker, harder. I can get there, I can get there, I can get there. No, I'll go faster, I'll go quicker, I'll go faster, I'll go quicker. I got it, I got it, I got it. And then you look and go, wait, I didn't move. Because you're running on a treadmill. And that just that analogy, I want that to stick in your head. The analogy is simply this. Someone walking up a ladder will get a lot further and distance than someone running on a treadmill. So do you wanna be a ladder person or a treadmill person? A ladder person, and I'm making this analogy, I'm making this up as I go, okay? So stick with me here. Knows what moves the needle in their life by analyzing and simultaneously just saying no. What in 2019 must you say no to? Mr. Balance, let's, let's just sit and ponder this for a minute. This is, I'm not gonna just blow through this. In fact, I want some of you to commit and, start, and, and say it out to the rest of the group. What are you gonna say no to? Are, do you go on Facebook because you wanna do something productive and get some personal growth, which is great. And then all of a sudden you get sucked in by stupidity and you realize three hours have gone by. Do you need to say no to that? Is that positively impacting your life? Do any of you geek out on news for hours? Do any of you have negative friends that there's something fun about them, but you hang out with them, but every time you leave them, it's a little bit of doubt gets dumped into your soul and it builds up until one day you're like, I can't do this. And you didn't realize it was all the negative people in your life. Do you have to say no to them? Do you have to say no to things that don't you know, really matter. No to the stress worrying about your mother-in-law, your cousin, or your friend Sally who talks shit about you. You spend wasted time stressing about something you can't change. What some people think about you is none of your freaking business. It's theirs. I don't know what it is. I appreciate you guys doing a stress. Social media. I'm uh, Netflix bins watching, say no to watching TV so much, trying to satisfy my ex-wife, um, no to social media, listening to negative people, toxic people, uh, Netflix binging, procrastination, sleeping too late, TV, junk food. See what I mean? I've been talking about this forever. It's okay. But you need to listen for the first time. What are you going to commit to? Do you, do you see why I said these are the things that you can bolt onto your goals and actually make them happen? Because if Let's just say someone said binge watching, right? Or spending hours on social media, hours on Netflix. Um, think about this. If you don't say no to that, how are you gonna fit in all the goals you wrote on your list? Fix my relationship, get in better shape, make more money. Hey, shit ain't gonna happen. There's no time for it. Like it's, it's so obvious to me. I'm, I'm just, listen, I'm being frank as I can with you guys. This is, you guys are like family. It is so freaking obvious now. Tell me you're not thinking about it right now. If this is obvious to you, please say yes, it's obvious, or hell yes, it's obvious. You can't reach your goals 
if you don't say no to the crap that's eating up your time. If you don't say no to the negative people, no to binge watching, no to too much social media, no to procrastination, no to sleeping in, no to eating the bad food that makes you feel like crap, that makes you go to sleep early, then you look down at yourself, you're like, oh, I just feel bad, and then you don't have any confidence. If you don't say no to that, is there any chance in hell you're gonna reach your goals this year? Nope, ain't gonna happen. Time to say no. Time to say no right now, right today. Are you committed to saying no? Yeah, I'm asking you every time. I'm anchoring you. That's what it's called. It's called anchoring. I'm anchoring you. Commit right now to saying no to the shit that's not moving the needle in your life. A lot of times people see from the outside, and I'll teach some of this, and they'll go, yeah, but how do I get rich? And I'll share the same stuff I'm sharing. Like, yeah, yeah, Dean, that's cool. That's that personal growth stuff. But how do I get rich? <laughs> And I think people are looking for like this magic, like, all right, you got me, hold on. Ah, and like sunbeams shoot out. And there's this magic little thing that you do and you get rich. This is how you get rich in life, rich with love, rich with happiness, rich with peace. These are truly the secrets. People are looking for the magic. There's no magic, it's this. It's what we're talking about today. You can't fit the things in your life you need to do to be wealthy, successful, happy, if this other crap is in your life. That's just the way it works. I wish I was this clear, oh my God, in my 20s, but I've been an entrepreneur. This is something you gotta realize. I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. I'm 50 this year. I did my first real estate deal at 17. That's 33 years, holy cannoli. But also, I've been in teaching success for over 20 years. I've been obsessed with personal growth for over a decade, reading a book every 10 days, friends with Tony Robbins, Brandon Bouchard, Richard Branson, like I obsess on this. So a lot of what I share is not just some, oh, this guy got rich and he's just sharing his shit. Like this is well thought out, things that I wish someone would have given me in my 20s. And when you understand it on that level, you realize this is where happiness, this is where wealth comes from. All right, thank you guys. What's up, what's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.